Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna he's gonna yak. Oh god. <coughs> oh god. What's going on everybody? Today we are bass fishing. I am with the crazy man himself. You guys remember him from the welding mask challenge. So he asked me to go fishing. And immediately I see a shotgun, you know, it's just, it's always a fun time. And uh, Josie and I, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little competition today. We are doing the MRE challenge, right? Yeah. And what kind of MRE is it? Beef brisket. Yeah, he says it's, it's not good and it's not gonna be heated up. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what, you tell me what you think about this. Let's just do big bass. Big bass. Just keep it easy. Whoever catches the biggest bass today wins the loser has to eat the cold mre right here here it is this is the brisket mre we're not even gonna open it i don't even want to know i'm just gonna fish my ass off is all i know because i do not want to be the one to eat this and uh and yeah if you guys have noticed you know repping the american flag bringing it back for all the uh that's going on with the nfl as you guys know so repping repping hard again and uh yeah we are gonna we're gonna put the boat in the water and see who can catch the biggest bass. Get the essentials, boys. Here we go. We are out on the water, folks, ready to get it on, but I wanna say thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. I'm not gonna do what I normally do, which is take the baits in this box and go fish. Instead, I wanna give back to you guys. I wanna do something different. I wanna give back. So I'm giving away this box right here to one of you guys. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is leave a comment and, uh, and I'll randomly just pick somebody and, uh, and you'll get this. So if you want to see what was in that box and you know people fishing with that, I will link actually the Guggen Squad's videos down below. You know, Rob, John, and Perrick, I'll link their videos down below. If you guys wanna watch them do like the slam and stuff like that. I just wanted to mix it up this month. Didn't wanna do the exact same thing. And I wanted to give back to you guys. Partner with up Mystery Tackle Box. You guys know what Mystery Tackle Box is. It is a monthly subscription box company. They send you fishing lures every single month. Uh, delivered right to your doorstep and you don't know what's gonna come in it which is good because they will send you lures that you would not normally buy exclusive releases all that fun stuff I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check out mystery tackle box use promo code flare you get ten dollars off your very first box click the link down below if you want to try it out but yes leave a comment down below I will send this box to one of you guys and I will also link the Guggen squads videos down below as well if you guys want to see what came in the box and uh, everybody fishing with them so that is that we got Josie driving the old 10 pounder and we have a dove decoy. What's the dove's decoy's name? That's Ralph. Ralph. We have Ralph the dove decoy hanging out on the back of the boat. That's why he brought a shotgun so he could potentially shoot a dove while we are fishing. Cast and blast challenge part two. Here we go folks starting out with the brush hoog. What are you starting with chat? Oh chatter but that's cheating. He's starting off with the chatterbait. I'm starting off with the slow presentation as you guys can see chocolate milk so you want to throw a Chocolate milk color lure. Gosh darn it, Flair, what are you doing with your life? And uh, yeah, sunny, no wind. I don't know if this bait will work. I might need to go to a black and blue or like something like he's throwing a chatter bait. Something that's, I don't know, the fish can see because again, we are fishing in chocolate milk. Oh, first fish, first fish. He's hooked up. He's hooked up. What do we got? Woo! Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Toss her on the scale. We'll see what she is. You never know. I might never catch a fish today. What do we got? Solid 145-ish, something, yeah, 145. All right, that's the, uh, that's the size to beat today, folks. 145. There's one, you got one? Oh. one? oh, I got one, I'm hooked up. Oh, I think mine might be bigger. Here we go, folks, here we go, stay down. Stay down. I'm not eating this MRE. Stay down, boy. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be close. Uh-oh, you might have me beat, bro. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. I think you got me beat. Son of a gun. 130. What was yours? 145? 145, yeah. God, you barely beat me. All right, 130, 145. First one. What are we naming this one? Peter? All right, see you later, Peter. <laughs> Fish in the chocolate milk. This thing's beeping at me. I don't know why. There we go, folks. That was on the old ch 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 chatter bait. You guys can see there's a little bit of wind. And uh, which is usually key for chatterbaits. I mean, sometimes I've caught them in no wind, but usually you want a little bit of wind. And I'm throwing black and blue because there's zero inches of visibility right now. I would be actually throwing like a underspin or swim jig or something, but this chatterbait's got such hard vibration and the black and blue stands out that they can actually see this bait. 
And I'm just kind of trying to slow roll it on the bottom like this. It's the time of the year when fishing pretty much just sucks in general. I mean, it should be picking up here. It's the end of September. Uh, you know, fall bite should be picking up. I would have thought it would have already happened, but it hasn't. I don't know why. So right now it's just been, been kind of brutal. We're gonna kind of do this, maybe flip and pitch, maybe punch. And then I'm really just banking on catching a giant on like a whopper plopper tonight and making old Sally back there eat the old brisket. We're going on for Friday. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, no. <laughs> that was for sure bigger than my last one. That would have that would have done it. That would have that would put you under just a touch. They know what's going on. They know it's my pond. And they're they, yeah, they're favoring the owner of the pond here. God dang it, folks! I noticed on the last trout bait fish I caught, the hook I didn't get a very good hook in them. This hook is sharp. On what the hell is going on here? Son of a biscuit! Well, I'm still uh, still losing. Oh, oh, dude! I got smacked. What's going on here, Bill? See if I can do the follow-up trick again. The old bee hog. Did you get hit? Uh oh, we're starting to figure them out. Dude, that thing whacked it hard. I was oh, there it is. Oh dude, you saw it. You saw my line, dude. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to episode of Fishing with Flair. First day bass fishing here. Really gonna try to catch ourselves a largemouth. Is there a hook on this? Is this is this hook sharp? They must have been squeakers. Or I just suck. Probably I just suck. I've seen a few eagles out here, and then I see yeah, at least one herring. I saw three herrings making my dove hunting. Oh, there's one. There's one. Yep. Yep. Is it a is it a squeak though? Oh wow! Flares out here doing big things. This is how you win a big bass challenge. You throw you throw uh, natural color swim baits in dirty water so the fish cannot see it, and then you catch the smallest bass in the lake. Take notes, folks, take notes. I am still losing. Well, folks, it's been about an hour. Haven't gotten a bite since. We don't know what happened. We caught some fish. Now, look at it, there's no wind. This is terrible, except for top water. Top water might be, might be fire. We probably have eh, 45 minutes or so before the top water really gets, gets churning. But again, like I said, it's calm, sunny, and chocolate milk water. Well, as you guys are probably thinking, Flair, this isn't chocolate milk false. You guys can see this is actually, it's actually chocolate milk. It's actually 2% by the way, in case you were wondering. Fish don't like that, I guess. They're more of a 1% or maybe even skin. They're kind of watching their weight. So we're going to, uh, we're going to keep on, uh, yeah. we're going to keep on fishing here. He has yet to shoot his gun either. We're still looking for some dove. 12 seconds later. Well, just caught a fish. GoPro died, but the front camera was rolling. So and I'll play that clip right now. Now we're gonna see. I think I think I got you beat. One, four, five. Here we go. Moment of truth. Caught him on the old Stanko. Boy. Oh, I got you. One, oh, it, what's it say? One six nine. I got you. One six nine. New leader. Your boy ain't eating the MREs tonight. See you, Felipe. That's how it's done, folks. That was like my fifth or sixth cast with the Stanko. Subtle. Obviously, it's dirty water, so throwing the black and blue. No wind, so throwing weightless. How do you feel about that? Poop. Not good for him, but it's good for me. You got one? Uh-oh, he's on. Dude, he's running. It's running for Narnia, bro. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Uh-oh, uh-oh, you got me beat. Oh. Son of a gun, dude. Dude, that thing was running so fast. Moment of truth. You gotta be, I believe, 165, I, th I think. At, I think at least I might know. We'll see, maybe. 213, 218, 211. You smoked me. It is 216 is what it stopped at. 216. Gosh dang it, you killed it. Never been more happy for a two pounder in my life. Son of a biscuit. I, I shouldn't have told him the secret. I was fishing a Stanko and Dingledorf back there put on the old Stanko and look what happened. He now he's winning. So sun's getting low though. I don't do you have any whopper ploppers? I got a few. I thought I was gonna have something on him. Alright, well we're gonna see if I can catch some bigger ones. Now we have all this dark water and then there he is, there he is. Yep, plopper fish, plopper fish. It's starting, boys, it's starting. 
Why are you running so fast towards me? You're making me nervous. Come on. Oh, you, you're done, son. You're done. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Woo. Yeah, you're done. That'll do her. Yes. Oh, that was my second cast of the plot, daddy, folks. I think it's going to be a good, good evening. I was going to say it's going to be a good day, but it's going to be a good evening. She's not as fat. As I thought she was. I just saw her head. You guys see the head on that thing, and you're like, oh, that's a decent one. And you look at her body, and you're like, wow. Do we have it? Yes, we do. What do you got? 227. I just barely beat you. Like an ounce. Like, <laughs> an ounce, dude. Ounce. Oh, man. Good stuff right there, folks. The old top water's coming in clutch tonight. Except he's throwing a buzz bait, which does mean he's got a chance to, as a donkey. But here we go. See you later, Benjamin. A few moments later. How you feeling? Not the best, bud. You beat me by 1.1 ounce, and I was backboated the whole time. Like, I think you should eat some of this. Like, I'm being serious to you. So, I don't know. I, th I mean, I think I, I kind of, I didn't intentionally backboat him. But normally in, like, the 1v1s, it's like the first person takes the front of the boat for, like, half the time, and then, and then you rotate, which we didn't rotate, so. No, we didn't, bud. I really don't want to eat this though. <laughs> so are we doing it so we, we it's not cooked? We can do it cold. Cold? I mean, Is know. it it's worse though, right? Yeah, it definitely tastes more like like, food. like really bad? Yeah, it's definitely got that old uh old old Roy taste to it. <laughs> so normally, so fun fact for MREs, or I'll let you, I'll let you tell them. How how do people normally prepare MREs? There's a little uh heater in there that you fill up with a little bit of water and it is a chemical reaction and it uh heats it up for about five ten minutes and it, it makes it taste like bearable chef boyardee but if you eat it cold um and you're and you've eaten them for quite a while it just tastes like preservatives and wet dog food so basically you just have to add water and there's like a chemical reaction wow i can see my breath it's cold and uh, and it heats it up but since we want to make this challenge a little bit more interesting and not have any guys complain because we're eating food that the military eats on a regular basis. We're gonna not heat it up. Yeah. All right, here, uh, here we go. So, we're gonna start by opening this old boy up. What we got? We got, this is our main meal, beef brisket. Little pouch it goes in, that's really nothing. We're not gonna use that. Oh, oh, gratin potatoes. This is like the worst side you can ever get. Like this and Mexican rice is like the worst ever. Like, oh man, that's mm, tasty. Got a moist towelette. If you guys don't know, if you guys are in the military, your moist towelette, you get one per package. That's like your shower. And you one for your face, one for your body, one for the, the good old boys. And uh, you got some napkins, which isn't napkins. That's your toilet paper that it gets used for most of the time. Uh, we got an oatmeal cookie, so that's not bad. That's a nice little end to it. Peppermint candy rings. These are like lifesavers, you know, the ones you get in the packages. Green or blue ones or whatever. Blackberry jam. There we go. Have some military toast. Irish cream instant powder. This is like instant uh, white girl coffee. Peanut butter. There's a win. Peanut butter is always the good stuff. If you get cheese. Oh, I hate MRE cheese. Oh, it's so bad. Then we got our snack bread. This is uh, our toast. Military grade spoon and uh, our heater. There we go, that's the contents of our dinner tonight. So we have a lot, a lot to choose from. The biggest thing is we're gonna do the brisket, but I'm actually personally kind of curious what the other stuff tastes like. So I might do like a little, little taste testing session here. But as far as the challenge goes, it's the cold beef brisket. There we go. Got our potatoes and our heater in there. Now this is going to produce hydrogen gas, so if we have a lighter, we can make a nice little flamethrower. Notice right there, lean it against a rock or something. <laughs> or something, or this something. is on or something. <laughs> <laughs> just anything. Anything. I normally just bring a lot of beef jerky and trail mix with me, and I sustain myself off of that. Get the old goods, give, me the, give me the brisket. Here's your military grade spoon. Here's my spoon, we got a spoon. Here we go. Rip off. So, oh, I love that smell. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> fresh bag of dog food. Oh, God, that looks, mm. that's brutal. Brisket. Oh, God, I might throw up. Oh, crikey. Bon appetit. 
I don't know why I do these things. You guys better hit that like and subscribe button. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh God. Mmm. Oh yeah. Dude, I'd rather eat a bowl of dog food. For sure. When it's cold <coughs> when it's cold, it just No. Don't it doesn't work. Oh god. Yeah, that's your turn. That meaty goodness in your mouth. I'm sure you didn't get tired of eating that. So many memories. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna he's gonna yak. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh it it tastes like the freaking salt cap fell off in the stew you're making. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, oh, I couldn't do it. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. No? No. No bueno? I stick away from the main meals. They always suck. Besides, like, Chili Mac. Oh, my. What are we opening here? What is that? This is a, our wheat snack bread. Pretty much your bread or toast, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Oh, it looks like a Pop-Tart. It is not. It's a succulent bread oh a nice creamy peter pan goodness mm. oh that looks like caviar if i've ever seen it mm. that's the it actually does smell half bad i think i'm gonna like it you'll like it A little dry, a lot of dry, extremely dry. It doesn't taste half bad though, to be honest. Not bad. Not not not. I couldn't complain about this one. Oh yeah, that looks about as um, dry as our peanut butter sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh, even even more dry. There you go. Oatmeal cookie. Tastes ain't bad. Somewhat confused on the consistency. It's like you get a big old spoonful of sand, throw it in your mouth. It's about what I'm feeling right now. But it tastes decent. It's just a little dry. Zipper back up. Just pretend you're making a shaken martini. We ain't got no big clumps of uh, instant Irish cream coffee. Straight out the bag, huh? Yeah. Didn't smell too bad. They said it's like coffee, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, I drink that every day for breakfast. Oh boy. That's not bad. I think it's more of a dairy supplement than anything. Oh yeah, dude. White girls would be all over this right now. Lovely uh, gravy already on it. There we go. We won't even wipe her off. What is this called? A what potato? The, uh, gratin. Gr Au gratin. Au gratin potato. And you said this is worse? Yeah, uh, it's my least favorite side. Least yeah. favorite side? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, it's cold still. So. Yep. Ooh. No. Mmm. What is this supposed to taste like? Ass? <laughs> like you want it to taste good, but it, the texture and... You do. You want it to taste good, and it tastes like canned cheese in like half-ass cooked potatoes, mixed in a, in a bag, and and it's and it's like lukewarm. Like, no, no, not not for me. Here we go, final touch, lifesaver. I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is different. I wanted to mix it up. I was kind of tired of the same old thing. I wanted to throw a spin on a fishing video instead of just going out and catching fish, which I love doing. You know, incorporate some type of challenge. Something that you guys can enjoy. Something that you guys probably have never seen. I've never seen an MRE in person, like how it works, you know, what comes in. I, did, I had no idea a lot, all this stuff came in. I thought it was just like, just like a, I don't know, one one thing, basically. I didn't realize there was a whole bunch of stuff. So that's kind of cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the mix-up. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Drop some comments down below. I know you guys are supposed to comment to enter the Mr. Tackle Box, but leave me some suggestions on video. What videos do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see me just fishing, or do you want me to just like scrap it and just like do challenge videos? 
or some more hunting videos and get demonetized or just let me know let me know what you guys want to see i'm gonna end it here thanks for watching folks peace